Welcome to the Expedition Log Analysis Feature Module 9 video. In this video, we will go over the details on the remaining steps for machine learning feature, which includes enable machine learning, machine learning discovery, import suggested rules back to project. First step, enable machine learning. Begin by logging to the Expedition GUI, going to the project you created in the previous module, Navigate to Policies. Select the corresponding device group. In this case, I'll select DG1. Highlighting the security policy you want to enable for machine learning, right-click to select Machine Learning Monitor Selection. Second step, Machine Learning Discovery. After tag the security policy for machine learning, we can then click on Discovery, Machine Learning. The first thing we would need to verify is the serial number showing here matching the device we processed the traffic logs in the earlier steps. Also, we can override the time frame specified in the log connector. Uh, for example, in my log connector, I specify seven days and I could override it to four days in this case if I had processed four days traffic logs earlier. Same thing, I can define uh, the threshold to discard the traffic uh, I don't want to analyze. Uh, if I see the traffic less than how many bytes and less than how many hit count, then I can discard the traffic. There are six application categories you can choose to analyze. For example, first, cloud application. Any cloud applications with dynamic IP address. In this case, Expedition Machine Learning Output will categorize the application as cloud application and changing the destination IP to any. Second, common applications. Those are the application considered are present in all of the networks and generate huge amount of the logs. For example, PIN, DNS, LDAP. Third, peer-to-peer -peer applications. Those are the application classified as peer-to-peer -peer by Parato networks in the FID database. Fourth, global applications. All other applications, Expedition will analyze source, destination, user, service ports to suggest rules based on how they are consumed and categorize them as global. Fifth, unknown application. Those are the application contains unknown TCP and unknown UDP. Sixth, incomplete. When Expedition analyzing the traffic log, when it sees the application field is incomplete, it will tag the suggested rule as incomplete. After you select which application categories you want to see in the output, then you can click Analyze Data to start the process. When the process started, you will see the gray panel and showing starting task and it will immediately show you the URL that you can click and monitor the process. This process can take one minute to few hours, depends on how many traffic logs you need to process. When the process is completed, you will see the output with suggested security rules based on application. You can review the output on the screen or you can click on Export Excel to export the result into Excel and review there. When reviewing the suggested security rules on the screen, you can do a control click and this will collapse the result based on FID. Third step, import suggested rules back to project. After we have reviewed all of the suggested rules, and we can pick and choose the rules we want to import back to the project, or we can import it all of them uh, at the same time. Uh, in this case here, I want to select all the part of network FID. And when you're ready to do an import, you can click on the import, and there is an advanced option here. You can specify um, the import option you want. 
For example, in some cases, you would like to implement the security policy based on source or destination subnet instead of single IP. Then you can specify you want to import source or destination as slash 24 subnet when you see more than a uh, number of IPs in the same slash 24 subnet. In the example here, we use two. If the suggested rules contains more than two different IPs, for example, 10.0.0.1, 10.0.0.31 in the same subnet, the import will change the source to 10.0.0.0/24 subnet instead of importing them as two single IPs. We could also specify the device group where the policy gonna go into, also make the objects as shared. When you are ready to import the selected rules back to the project, click import. This will import the selected rules back to the project. All the imported rules with prefix ex in the rule name. At this point, we can consolidate the rules and move them on top of the original rule. By highlighting all the imported rules, click on move and move it to before the original rule. In this case, it's allow all out. Click on move. This step will move all the new imported rules to be on top of the original rules. If you encounter any issues during the machine learning process, you can issue the comments here for troubleshooting purpose. You have completed this module. Please move on to the final module, module 10. Push modify security policy back to PanOS devices. Thank you for watching.